I'm just flooring it up a mountain and yeah, I'm even losing speed. Now I have no idea where I'm going, but this might be a very good or a very bad idea. So far, so good with this piece of crap shovel. Dang it. Hmm. Hmm. Yo guys, welcome back to the channel. We are next to the highway because we are going on an adventure. A gold mining adventure that is. Because we are going gold hunting. I bought this gold pan, I bought a little sluice box, got my camping gear, and of course I got my beloved sausage roll. Now that should be hot, burned or disappeared by the time we get there. Yeah. I've been told that in every river is gold. I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube where people actually find gold in pretty silly rivers. I thought to myself, let's try and find some gold too. We need mountains and rivers. Belgium doesn't really have mountains. So the highest one I'm going to now is about the highest you can get. It's called the Barak Frature. It is uh, 650 meters high. Yeah, 650 meters, that's not really that high. And I'm taking my Jimny and it's a 400 mile drive. So it's about 200 kilometers, 400 miles with the Jimny on the highway. I'm doing a 90 now. I'm just flooring it up a mountain and yeah, I'm even losing speed. So uh, I gotta drop a gear and disappear. Nah, that, that didn't really help. So yeah, we gotta find some gold. Got some lovely food. My salsa troll is in the front eating up. So let's go there. Floor in the chimney again. Fourth gear. Gotta mind the trucks. This is getting heavy. Look at that. I'm flying by the trucks, but. The Jimny is giving it all she's got. I'm doing about 80, 85 kilometers an hour for gear, flattening it out. Come on, little Jimny. We need to get up there. We need to go find some gold. Oh man, this sucks. Look at that. God dang it. We need a hybrid Jimny with twice as much horsepower. The world needs a faster Jimny. God dang it. And as you can tell, we made it. I'm on top of Belgium. I'm pretty ashamed that it's that low. Also, it is winter time and uh, this is our skiing and snowboarding slope. In the middle of winter, there's no snow. Highest mountain in Belgium, winter, highest mountain in Belgium, no snow. I'm not the best in uh, geography or whatever that's called, but I do know that there is a little river uh, and it's spring is somewhere close to this mountain. So I was like, hmm. I just go and find where that river comes out of this mountain, go a little bit down, choose a little spot, and mine for gold. Can't go wrong, right? I was one of the dumbest guys in my class, probably, but uh, who's got a hot sausage roll right now? And who's on top of the mountain? And yeah, that little, uh, that little blue dot over there, that's me on the highest mountain in Belgium. And uh, if you look over here, not sure if the camera can tell, but there's like, like this blue line over here. And this is the Esna. This is the river I'm talking about. So it's really close and it starts here. So I gotta figure out how I'm gonna get to there. Five minutes later. Now you guys are not going to believe this, but I have found the god dang river. Well, it's not a river, it's the spring. So it's where the river starts. Look at that. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna have to, uh, we have to gonna go down a little bit. But there's a big ass tower over there, and uh, I'm gonna check out the tower. Oh boy. There is some water over there. It's also not a good river and also not bedrock. So what I'm going to do is just gonna follow that road 
and see where that takes me. And a little bit down the road, we have found the river yet again. Now uh, there are a lot of locals around me looking at me like, what the hell are you doing here? Then probably when I'm gonna find a big nugget of gold and get really rich, probably gonna steal it from me. Gotta follow the river a little bit more down. I have been driving down the river for some time. I think I found a pretty decent spot. Dirt bike tracks, look at that. He even went up the stairs. Totally killed the stairs. Oh Lord. But yeah, uh, the water is like really deep. The water is like really cold. And uh, yeah, I didn't bring big enough boots. Ah, gotta go a little bit more down. I'm not gonna lie, still have to take the camera. Now I have no idea where I'm going, but this might be a very good or a very bad idea. Uh, roadblock. God dang it. Hmm. Now this is what I'm talking about. I got some good news, I got some bad news. The good news is, I found some bedrock. The bad news is, I really gotta poop. Damn it. Now that we have found the perfect spot, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna strike rich here. I'm gonna find the biggest nugget ever. It's called a 10 second shuffle. No, it's not. Look at that. Now, I'm not gonna lie, like I said, it's my first time ever holding a gold pan. It's not a gold pan, it's just like a plastic pan and a gold shovel. Also not a gold shovel, just a shovel. I am going to get rich today, that's for sure. Oh boy. And another fun fact you guys should know, it is illegal to be mining for gold in Belgium. So, uh, yeah, this video might end up in a police office. If anybody's watching and thinking like, he's doing that all wrong, let me know in the comments. Getting some pay dirt right here. Uh, looking at my first pan, I thought I found a little nugget, but yeah, it's just, it's yellow rock, so. Uh, I don't think it's gold yet. And yet again, there is some stuff sparkling over there, but I thought that was gold, but yeah, it's not. Yeah, try another go. Now, a couple months ago, there was a very big flood. The half of Belgium was like underwater and all of this was covered in water. Well, I'm not really sure it was over here, but like this place was like everywhere covered in water. 
So I was thinking like maybe the gold is over there. This is like the worst shovel ever. I thought it was a good shovel, but it is not. I'm gonna catch a rat any second. And again, third one, no charm. Gonna up my volume and take out the sluice box. I don't need sunglasses. This sluice box can only be a major success because the box said it was made for professionals. It was darn cheap, it's made of plastic. It's gotta work, right? I'm pretty sure that my sluice box is going down the river today. Got a bad feeling about this. And voila, sluice box completed. So we got some good water flow going on right there. Straight into my sluice box, down there, underneath the bridge. This is going to catch some gold for sure. Yeah, I think I need to pan it first. That's a bad idea. Gonna get some residue through the sluice box, but nah, nah. So far, so good with this piece of crap shovel. Dang it. Quick food first, then I'm gonna prospect some more. Really gotta find some gold today. Pasta bolognese ain't that bad. Now I seriously gotta poop. Does it also happen to you guys? Like, I have not seen anyone in the last three hours, or like four hours. But I'm pretty sure when I take a poop or a pee, it's like people coming from every side of this. Does it happen to you too? Never see anybody take a poop, take a pee, and suddenly there's like, hey hey! How are you doing? That's my life. There's actually nothing in this pan yet again. I'm not gonna say dang it, because I've been saying that too much, but nothing in the pan. This is like pan number 20, and besides some yellow rocks, it's, it's nothing sparkly. It's not sparkly. I'm staying positive. Sooner or later, I will find some gold in the river. But as for today, sun is going down. I pooped over there. Pretty sure bears and hyenas are gonna come over and try and eat me. So uh, yeah, I gotta go. Piece of crap shovel. God dang it. Uh, that's it for today's video. Really hope you guys liked it. Make sure you subscribe, like this video, and until the next gold hunting video. Cheers, guys. Drive safe. See you in the next one.